Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm back in State Square Power Sports for the first time in a while. I just got done at the dentist. My mouth's still numb on one side, but I ain't been up here in a while, and I needed to come make a video because I've been busy as free, as y'all know, with high school and all. But let's look at the new lineups, what they got. And I believe this is either a 2022 or 2023 Canem Defender HC 10. This thing's mean. Look how much tread these tires have. I actually really like these because they're like a tread. They got a lot of tread. They're aggressive, but it's like a trail tire pattern style. It's kind of hard for me to talk. I have my mouth on me also. Same with me. And it's got a really nice interior here. I believe these are 30s that come on. Yeah. It comes with wides in the back. Nice bed base. Comes snorkel. Saves you some time. This is a brand new Ranger with a single overhead cam, a thousand. I'm not big on this colorway, but it's still really nice. The interior is nice too. I guess you cut the interior. Cup holders. This one is a unit. This HC10, gosh, is a unit. It comes with the Super ATV A arms on it with the axles. Uh, these are 35s by 18s with the fuel. I believe those are reactor wheels. Six seater, plenty of room for your family and friends. Really nice tire. Not too aggressive, but plenty tread. Clean interior. This thing's brand new. Nice bed space. Like the bed and it moves. It's nice. I know this is what y'all want to see in the 2023, I believe so. On um, 1,000 XMR. It might be 2022, but still brand new. Y'all come get it pretty. I love the beige color on the 30 inch curb. It's, um, it's building a snorkel and rag kit right here, as you can see in the lines. Power steering and everything you need. If you ain't quite old enough for this, they got the 450 over here. Outlander DPS in the green. This one's really nice for a younger kid. Then budget option, the C4. These things are actually really nice, dude. They have just about every feature you can think of. I would drive one in a heartbeat. Home, 33 by 20 inch front lines on the MSA M12. Great looking wheel. Some Outlaw 3 is just like my old one, just a different wheel. I believe this is a, what's it called? Said on the wheel and really good looking wheel. Y'all come get it for all my Honda guys. Here's the brand new Honda lineup Rancher 4x4 and a little bit darker green than mine. I actually really like this colorway classic red. You really can't beat this 4x4. Um, this is a foot shift, and that one's electric. This is a foot shift, yeah. Another foot shift right here in the same colorway as that. In case you're not an electric shift type guy for your younger siblings, a nice little Honda. This is the nicest, the Foreman. I mean, it ain't the Rubicon, it's the second nicest because it has a straight axle. But if you prefer straight axle, I oh, know this is the, this is a Rubicon because it has the IRS and not the straight axle, my bad. This is literally the nicest option. One of the best colors too. Oh, I didn't see the Rubicon, that's all Foreman. Yeah, Foreman Rubicon. Recon, good old reliable. You can't go wrong with these. Fun little four wheeler, my sister's got one. This is a 2023, hers is a 2022. Really not much of a difference. We're just a nice little four wheeler. For my Polaris people, this is a good looking four wheeler, dude. This XP 1000. I would drop this in a heartbeat. It's good looking. Stop the Polaris 8. MSA wheels, set of four. Come get them. The Suzuki King Quad, great budget option. Another good old reliable. Some trail tires. Um, Gas cans, speakers and headlights and light bars, all your needs. Little 50. Plenty of CRFs, dude. They always got these. Come look at these. 110, 125. 
Now this is a 125, this is a 110. I didn't see the clutch. The Suzuki RMs, I think these are the 85s, yeah. Really nice, and the little Suzuki. These are nice, good racing dirt bike. Or just the casual ride, a two-stroke. DS90s, plenty of hammerhead go-karts. These are actually really fun. Got old slingshots over here. can -am accessories, lawnmowers and tires. Oh, I forget what these are called. These are heavy. Y'all come pay my visit and tell them I sent you. They got old speakers, all the accessories you could need. Great place, great overall place. Five, five star review from me, 10 out of 10. I've heard good from everybody I've recommended here. So y'all make sure to come pay him a visit. The High Lifter Razor 1000 on the 30 inch Outlaw 2s. This thing is a beast. Comes with the snorkels and a winch. Can't beat it. This is a Razor 1000. I don't know if I mentioned that. Powder coated shock suit. These things just look so good and simple. And personally, my favorite thing players makes though is the General. It's the perfect in between the Ranger and the um, Razor. It like meets in the middle. Everything in one. That's why I love these. This comes on. These are. Are they 28s or 30s? Yeah, these are 30s. Some trail tires. I wish my dad would get this. This thing's nice. I would drive that like every day. My favorite still going to have to go to the Defender. Ain't that just a pretty sight, dude? Look at all these brand new Hondas lined up in the red, dude. You just can't beat it. Another one of these beautiful sportsmen, dude. This is probably one of my favorites, other than the Can Ams, other than the brand new Renegade Dixon Morris. This is probably my favorite brand new model. All these sportsmen, dude. Man, this is so good. Y'all, look at this brand new P520 in the camo. I genuinely love these things, dude. I'm, I don't know if I would go as far to say as I like the, them more than the 500 with the four-wheeler back, but they're still good looking. Nice little units. More can -Ams. This is a HC can, I believe. Or these rims, I'm pretty sure, yeah, HC can. More Rangers. I really like this one. It's kind of like ours, but way newer. Let's just go look at. <laughs> this is my favorite thing. Is we come look at what's being fixed. God, dog, this thing's a monster, dude. God. I would love to have one of these. This are a renegade, dude. The MSAs, dude. Really? I like this light bar and the speaker mount. There's nothing I don't love about this, dude. Whose is this? If y'all know whose this is, let me know. Or who owns this? Comment. Message me on Facebook, all right? Do you own this? This thing is mean. Then this little neglected Outlander over here. All the XMRs out here. This one's been out here for a while. This XMR 570, I don't know what's wrong with it. It looks like it got wrecked. Look up here. Dang. This one ain't in bad shape. This one, I ain't never seen this one out here before. So you got the Warrior Risers. Are those Warrior? No, I don't know what, I think. Yeah, that is Warrior, I'm pretty sure. The only thing I don't like about this snorkel setup is how they're angled. If I got these, I'd probably get these, but I'd find a way to angle them different or something. Or like push this down. And angle that one different too. I just don't like the way it goes like that. Let's see what else they got out here. I'm gonna walk a little bit. Y'all, this 850 is mean. I think these are 29 and a half out of all twos. Let me look at them. Yeah, 29 and a half on the stock wheel, but Warrior Risers, light bar. Right, this is pretty. If it was washed, dude, this thing would look so mean. I don't know what's wrong with it, but it's mean. Another one right here. This is an 852. Yeah, I like the 850 more than I like the 1000s on the Renegade. And this, because I don't like the long frame. If I got a XMR, and more, I'd need to get a 650 Renegade or 650 Outlander at most 850, just because I don't like the long frame. That's just me personally, though. 
They look good, but I just like the way this looks better. Like, you can't beat that. Look at the poor old Honda. Mm -mm -mm. This is mean, dude. I mean, the lift. Are these 37s or 35s? Look like 37s. Yeah, 37s. Another half X on the reactor. I believe that's what it is. On the Turbo S Razor, dude. This thing's a beast. Look at that. Dang, this one don't have it. It's a good bit of trip. Still prefer the BKTs, though. Might have its look a little better, in my opinion. But BKTs perform better. Actually, I don't know. BKTs really do look better. It's all about preference. The BKTs, when they're scooped and grooved, look so good. Both of these are, are fire. This Maverick, I probably like a little bit more, though. But I got nothing against the Polaris. I like all brands. All brands have their flaws and their pros and cons, I guess you could say. All brands got something wrong with them. Look at the old Pioneer 1000, y'all. Right here. Oh, they're moving that in, that hunting edition. That ain't the XMR. That's a hunting edition. They're putting it out on the showroom. Now look at this Pioneer. Things mean. Well, y'all, I reckon this is the end of the video. If you enjoyed, come show them some love. Pay them a visit. Statesboro Power Sports. Tell them I sent you. Great staff. Quality stuff. Y'all come pull up here. Appreciate y'all watching. Leave a like and sub. Peace.